Okay. Got the ghosts. That got a bit hurty. We're good, though. Right. And this loops us back here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's this is super fine. This is exactly kind of where I wanted to be. So those ghost bots actually have straight up lasers and stuff we have to worry about. Also, thank you 2D Space Bam for just a whole bunch of bits. I can't really count that many, but that's okay. Eh. Why? He's probably gonna die. Yep, going to die, but that's fine. Eh. Okay. So be wary of the Wizbots, because the Wizbots are jerks. They're worth a lot of dosh if I kill them. Or if they kill themselves. It's a bit of a both thing. Got him. A lot of dosh, a lot of HP. Oh, come on! Eh. That was such poor timing. That's oh, okay. More opportunities for cash money. There it is. God damn it. All right. Freaking, how many of them are there? Or is it just one guy that's repeatedly exploding himself? It's just one... It's a whiz bot that is... It's, it's a whiz bot that's just repeatedly killing himself on me. That's the answer. That's why when one blows up, that's, that's not actually enough. Okay. There we go. Much easier. <sighs> okay. So now we want to go this way. Okay, that's a little bit of HP left. Avoid that. Hit that guy. And I believe... Yes. Easy treasure chest. Easy treasure chest gives us... Last heart piece. So it just gives me that little smidgy bit. Anything else? Nope. Okay. I... Yeah, that was kind of worth it. Let's see. I want to go. There was the upper section, but I think we'd already been there. 
Hello. Yeah, we've already been up there. Yeah. Okay. Back we go. Time to go explode. Well, explode? I guess I'm probably just going to get crushed. Because it's a heck of a lot faster than walking back. Kill me. Eh. Death. But that should put us back on the correct side. Yeah, over here. Perfect. We've been in that lower section, so all we have to do is go down. All the way down. Bye. Bago. What else do we have? Uh, hmm. I think this is all just shortcuts. Maybe not. This way is supposed to lead back to the entrance of the factory. Let me know if you find a way across the gap. Oh, boy. I honestly... I don't know if I want to go up here. Well, it seems like it's safe. And it doesn't look like there's anything specifically hanging out up there. Ha! Wait, haven't I already been here? Didn't I... I took, I took this back. Helpful, but not really. So did I just not take this path previously? I guess not. Anyway, death. <laughs> we're a ninja iPad. Actually, we're ninja Nook. Oh, that's great. Do they even wait? No. Do they still sell no nooks, or is it... What's a nook? It's a, um... Man, that's a question. A nook is like a Kindle. I... It was Barnes & Noble's, like, go-to, right? Yeah, they still sell them. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't quite remember. Because I remember when they first announced, like, Kindles and Nooks and stuff, I really desperately wanted one of them. Whoops. Because I hate reading physical books. I know, I know it's, like, there's a huge appeal for some people, but for me it's just inconvenient. I'd much rather have digital and save all that paper. I'm not actually sure which is, uh, better for the environment, though, now that I think about it, because I don't a actually know what goes into one of those things. Boy, howdy. Okay, oh, save spot over here. I think? Kind of safe spot over here. So you like having actual books, because when the power app goes out during a storm, I can still read via candles. Yeah, but with like, um, but with like a nook, well, modern nooks especially, or uh, pretty much any of the ones with a, uh, any of them with like a backlight, more or less, yeah, they get 30 hours per charge, and you can straight up just, uh, you can straight up read lights off, lights on, power off, power on, ow. And for me, like, that's super important. I, I was, uh... 
I'm assuming the Google Nexus, like, Google hasn't come out with another Nexus. Maybe they have, actually. But the Google Nexus was, like, the first tablet I ever bought. Uh, and admittedly, it was... It was some kind of garbage, honestly. Like, I think it took me nearly seven, seven or eight Nexuses. Seven or eight Nexuses before they were... Uh, like, before I finally managed to get one that didn't just, like, break on me. Half of them had, like, unseated, uh, screens. And just, like, all sorts of weird... weird issues to go along with them. I was so sad. But then I finally got one that works. And works great for years. It ended up slowing down really hard after a while. Because whatever solid-state memory they'd used was kind of chop... uh, kind of shitty. Uh... But I just remember happily reading the entirety of Ready Player One on on my Nexus uh, while camping with my family. It was like a it was like a car camping trip, and yeah, I just I started reading it. I just could not put it down. It was so good. I didn't have to worry about it being dark. I didn't have to worry about anything. And, yeah, the power lasted for the entirety of the book, so it wasn't so bad. So, yeah, I had to power out for a week. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fair. I think at that point I'd start drawing more so and, and save the power specifically for... I did save, right? I... Yeah, save power for, like, nighttime when the light's out or something like that. There is 100% something in this room. Why not? Okay. Confusing. <sighs> I, I don't generally live in, uh, in states that have really... Oh, we're going to have to fight this on the way back, aren't we? But we do get the guns. Grips on the machine gun seem to match your hands perfectly. Smugs. Oh. I can hover by shooting. Okay. Furious Pharaoh. Okay, this is awkward. Dang it. I need that sword damage upgrade. Uh, let's see, do we go get it? We... Oh, never mind. We'll see how this goes. Can you shoot the little blobs on the ground with the SMG? I can. I don't know what does more damage.
It seems like the SMG is straight up better for it. If I, I wonder if lightning does the trick. Okay. Out. What the? That's that's bad. I'm going to go back to the main menu for a second see if that resets the ghost slime. Cuz I'm going to have a very very hard time with that weird glitch slime. Uh let's see. wait for this to come back. Yeah, it definitely should have gone for the sword damage upgrade. I'm not actually sure if it works with the uh, SMG. We'll have to see. Okay, so no. The the answer is a very solid. Do not bother with um. Do not bother with the shurikens in this fight. I'm just going to be right here. Oh my god, he has another phase. All right. This is really awkward. Got him. Wow, that was not great. Let me guess, the mech gets out. Oh, <sighs> that was rough. Ha <laughs> ha, you're on a roll. Fancy new ass smugs, huh? We all noticed the laughing stopped. I'm guessing you. 
Yeah, of course, what was I thinking? Seems like that did the trick and opened the door to the mech. Metal Gear. Time to check it out. I marked it on your map. Afterwards, come find me in the abandoned subnet. Oh. Well, time to be... Time to be horrifying. I might do a... Would I bother with money farming before next time? It would certainly help a little bit because I could get a bunch of sword damage upgrades and more or less just beat mo beast mode through the rest. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's no shortcuts. Well, that just hurt. Didn't hurt too much. So the answer is gun. There we go. The answer is gun. Everything hurts. Oh. Ah. No. Damn it. Come on. Okay. Then, oh, I should pro probably have actually just scooted straight forward. Oh, whatever. Yeah, they did animate the faces into the flip animation. Yeah. Unfortunately... There we go. Okay. Unfortunately, that would take a lot of extra animation, so they just didn't bother. Which is a bit of a shame. It works well with like 3D games, but this is this is definitely one of those where they have too many hats and not nearly enough budget to do all the the extra bits. So I can kind of I can kind of understand why they didn't bother. Shame though. Okay. Wow, there's still a fair bit left cuz we've got whatever's on the other side of the abandoned subnet. Artificial desert Oh, so for, we might be going to the crypto mines next. Huh. Kinda hope we get the ability to uh, quick travel between one or the other. After a certain point, traversing the world just becomes a bit of a chore in these games. Wow. Turns out just having guns is kind of busted. What was that rumbling noise? How'd you get those guns? Why do I ask so many questions? Hey, those guns look kind of familiar. Heard about this crazy old dude. Supposedly he used those like a jetpack. Fired them underneath him or something. Oops. Do not stand underneath the, uh, the death crushers. Because that would go bad. Nope! I say as I do the thing. I was hoping I could make it. I did not. Haste makes waste. But yeah, I, I want to go see what happens with the mech and then we'll, we'll switch games. Don't think I'm going to be able to play Mind Seas for too long. Unfortunately, my thumbs are a little... A little tired. Wow, these... So far, so good. That's a much better tempo. Don't get crushed by this one. I know there's a save point directly above us. There's also that there. We might want to head for that. Oh. 
Nope. Actually, we got to get on top of this thing. Oh, you know what? Ori in the Blind Forest is another Metroidvania that I rather enjoyed. It's actually one of the only only games I've ever played for Twitch and or YouTube twice. The only one of those sessions actually ever hit YouTube. Accessing CCTV feed. Are are where's my road buddies? Where'd my road buddies go? Got your back, Tabby. Mecha Tabby Lab. Wait a second. Uh, after finally gaining access to the mech, we got another big problem. Power input's very different from what we're used to. Looks like a power core of some sort fits in the center. I'm guessing it needs to generate a hell of a lot of power. We've recently heard reports of major energy sur surges in the city. It might be worth checking out. We're counting on you. I was built ready. This must be the coolest dropship ever. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. But yeah, I get the distinct feeling I might actually be able to pilot that thing. Which would be hella rad. Okay, so... Let's go check out that drop-down point that I haven't been to yet. And then I will switch. I don't think there's anything above this. That kind of works. Probably should kill him with the sword anyway, though. Otherwise, I'm just going to get murked by stuff. That's super handy. Yeah, it's an e very easy way to just deal with these these little basic dudes. So I guess I don't get the uh, I don't get the HP recovery for doing it. So trade offs. Man, that is downright abusive. Just see a dude, blast a dude. No more dude. Eh, let's just save. Easier to get through this. Let's see, SMGs for getting over the lava, right? Probably, yeah. So for I think we're still heading for Robopolis first. Wait, hold up. I don't actually know if I picked up the aha. I don't know if I picked up the Ooh. Ah! Everything is weird suck. Uh, I don't know if I picked up the slingshot move. I should probably grab that at some point. Give me your health. I need it. I... What was that? It went ba-ding? I probably should have tried collecting that. Oh, we found, we found the router. Long last. So, we didn't actually pick up slingshot. Steady ground, shotgun blast, clip size, or precision. I feel like going for precision might work better. We'll start with that. I'll get clip size as well. Please gives me the chills. Have you ever played Crash of Resistances? I haven't installed on my entertainment ship. It's a nice distraction from this freaky place. I seriously hope there's no actual ghost in here. Turns out there's more to this factory than I thought there was going to be. Guess I can't actually go up that anyway.
Looks like there's anything up here. Weird. Holy shit. How? Oh. Oh, I'm up here. Wait, what the? The heck? Yeah, because we can't get up to that one thing. All right, whatever. I guess we can't get to that. But yeah, like I was saying, I'll probably do a little bit of money farming between sessions if I remember. Um, Because I, I know I can save up for the sword upgrade. My one thing is, I'm not sure if it's necessarily in my best interest compared to the SMG. The SMG just does tons of damage. Like such. The sword feels kind of mediocre in comparison. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go find a safe spot. Uh, it's a really awkwardly placed safe spot a fair distance away. I guess let's go check that one door that I haven't been through. Oh, never mind. It's not even worth ogling. Okay, so do we go to the quantum forest or back to the abandoned subnet? Probably back to the abandoned subnet. Uh... I'm not actually sure if position was necessarily the wisest either. Or right, whatever. Plus side, I can more or less get through this. With like minimal difficulties. I do not remember when I came through through here the first time. But yeah, unless I'm grievously injured. I can more or less just use the SMGs to clear the area for me instead. Sword is... The sword is definitely a little bit more of a decoration item at this point. Or if I need it. Or if I need the shurikens. Eh. Because the SMGs are just too good. I almost kind of wish you could equip the SMGs in the shuriken uh, Zelda style. Just go full full gun no kata. Just daka daka kata. That that's kind of how it works. We you've unleashed a monster. Ah. Well, whatever. Okay, so where's the Let's save things over here? Yes. There it is. Hello, and we saved. 